Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Monroe and today I am going to show you how to make a patterned background for your Kahinde Wiley inspired art. For this you will need some scratch foam board, which is really this thin styrofoam. Any styrofoam will actually work for this. And you want to make sure your square is only about like two inches by two inches, like the size of a sticky note. Because what you're going to do is you are going to end up printing and filling your background. Now, it is up to you what your print is going to be. I like to do organic things, so flowers, leaves. You want to keep it something more related to nature. So you could have butterflies. I'm going to make some flowers. Now, when you draw it, you need to use pressure. Now, yay, I made one flower. Guess what? That's not the only thing I'm going to fill on this space because I want it to be a little busy. So I'm going to add some leaves to my flower. I'm going to add some more flowers. Make another leaf. Uh, let's see, I have two. Let's see if I can make about one, one or two more. I'm really making sure that it's really, I feel it. And if I want, I can go back in and I can add some texture. Sure, I'm filling that entire square with the pattern. Remember, patterns are some are motif that repeats, and the motif that's repeating right now is the flowers. We don't know where they're going. Hello, Houdini. And that's also part of the way that makes it an irregular pattern and also organic. Now I'm gonna have a couple little buds. More leaves. Maybe a couple more leaves here. A flower bud hasn't bloomed. I don't want to go to the edges because boys and girls, we're gonna make it repeat. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I could. Add a couple more things. I apologize for my cat. She's just jealous of all of you. And she's really interested in what I'm doing because she wants the styrofoam. Okay. Once again, there we go. Okay, next step is you need markers. Preferably watercolor markers. And you will need a sponge. Okay, now the sponge, you want it to be damp, but not sopping wet. So just, if you squeeze it, nothing's really coming out, but then having some backup water just in case. Okay. Water, check. Sponge, check. Printing board, check. Markers, check. What you need to do is you need to color your printing board. You need to color the whole entire thing. So, I'm gonna color the flowers. I am going 
to color the leaves. Here I go. I'm gonna pretend I'm snapping a marker so it doesn't dry out. I'm gonna color the buds. Making sure I put a nice layer of color on there. Color everything, and I think, I think I'm gonna put blue for my background. And this, you know, what this is like a test. If I don't like it, I can end up switching it. Oh, I see a leaf. And then I'm gonna color the entire background. So. You really shouldn't actually do this on the paper you're going to print on. FYI. <laughs> Go in. As you can see, I'm just using your basic Crayola markers to do this. Any water markers that you have will work for this. back and forth, making sure I'm getting every surface area. Okay, snapping, tapping. Now what you need to do is you need to use that sponge not on the board. It's inked, it's beautiful. We're not gonna touch it except to put it down on paper. What you're gonna do is you want to get that paper wet now. Right now, my paper is portrait, but for this project, it might be easier to do it landscape. I'm going to take it and get the paper just wet enough. Not super wet, but you can see that it's sort of a little damp. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I get the entire area. I don't want it to be too, too wet because then it will fall to pieces. Okay. There I go, I line it up, edge to edge, and I'm going to rub, 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 pressure, 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 all the way around. Oh no! And there we go. I have made a print. And then I go back to my board and I ink it again. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, boys and girls. I'm going to ink it again. And I actually think this turned out really well. So I will see you very, very shortly. Because I'm going to finish inking the background. Okay, here's the final product, boys and girls. So what you're going to do after this point, when you have filled the entire thing with patterns, um, you are going to take out, I'm gonna make sure I can clip it, one of those pictures. Now, I'm just gonna be using something from a magazine. Yeah, that doesn't really fit what I'm looking for. Because they already have these classic poses which um, Kahindi Wiley, he pulls from old classical European paintings and he brings them into the modern era. So, and she could fit there. She could. That might look nice. Mm, maybe not. I could put this adorable little boy right there. That'd be really good. I kind of really like her with her dog though. And I really like that I can actually cut this out and I might be able to bring the pattern forward. Let's see. I'm going to save this one for another day. So this is when you take out those trusty scissors. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut out that picture. Now, Candy Wiley is a photorealistic painter. That means... He spends a lot of time and effort to make his portraits 
be photorealistic. If we have time, I will also show you how to make some of them photorealistic in our drawing, but this is another way. So I'm just going to put that. Here we go. Let me see. Okay. So. Right, let's see. How can I pose her? Oops, so I could put her in the corner right here. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make one more print. So here I go. I need to get a glue stick. This is when we get the glue out or the tape or, or the stickers or the clay, whatever you have available to you to make your art. Okay, glue stick it is. That's the first thing that I have available to me right here. I open it, ooh, brand new. I trace the edges. You don't need a lot. You have to be really careful with magazine paper. It is really thin. I cap it. I snap it. And I'm going to put this one in the corner. Make sure it goes really flat. And remember what I said. I'm going to make one more so I could bring it over here. So I want it to look like the flowers are overlapping. Her. So I'm going to actually trim out So I could make another one where you put one so the flower's going in front of her hair. That's pretty much it, boys and girls. So you too can make some beautiful, fantastic art using a piece of styrofoam, some markers, a sponge, and a magazine cutout. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.